hi guys welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are going to learn about the laravel routing so let's get started with that and first of all uh, you have to install the laravel 5.6 and if you don't have uh, installed and don't know how to install then you can watch our last video and now uh, i'm going to just open uh, my installed project this is the my root folders and he, here is some folder also so for the routing we have to go on routes and then click on the web.php and one more folder i want to open with that which is the view and here i have the two views which is uh, one is new.blade.php and another is the welcome.blade.php so uh, you can see that by default we have only one route here you can see that our welcome page is showing and welcome page uh, belong to the welcome.blade.php screen so now i want to show i'll show that some more routings which is the basics of routing that, uh, that that is necessary to learn before starting with the laravel project so uh, first of all i want to show you that you can remove your uh, view like you can print anything else like hello laravel all right and if you don't need uh, if you do, if you don't need the get request then you can directly use your routes and then write directly view and just pass the two parameters first for your url and another for your screen like i want to show new which is uh, and the new belongs to my new dot blade dot php view so let's refresh this page oops uh we have to put the semicolon the last so you can see that we got the new screen here with that so now i'm going to comment this and i want and now we will learn how we can pass the dynamic id in url so for that just you can write one more thing route you can write the cat new and one more parameter for id you can write here just simply id and create a callback function which we can call the anonymous function also and return here you can return anything like i want to return the id and you must have to pass the id in the callback function also so write here new and just put something like 10 because we don't have semicolon at the last so you can see that we got the id here if i'm going to change here like 10000 then it will be show you in your screen so all right so guys you can put uh, you can use here post delete uh, let's see the original documentation for a while so you can see that how many requests in have the laravel so just go to your documentation and after that just go to routing and here you can see the old routing documentation this is uh, a very good documentation but uh, if you are a beginner you may need uh, a video tutorial also so that i am i'm going to show this video and you can see that the available routes methods are uh, we are just using the get because uh, i am not going to uh, i don't have any form post or put data or anything else so i'm going to use this and you can use the put patch delete optional on the post requests if you want so the many things are also here so just now uh, we use uh, we did the three things how we can call the simple route we we saw we saw the uh, how we can use the route without the get request here 
and now I want to show you that how we can uh, how we can redirect the URL so let's see how we can redirect just choose the routes route redirect function and just use your old URL and now just pass your new URL in the second parameter and here me we must have some uh, URL also otherwise it will show you the 404 page now just put here the request type uh, reduction type this is a 301 so I'm going to put here new new is working so just use the old here you can see that this is re redact to the new screen all right guys so these are the four uh, important methods and if you want to learn more you can see that on the official page also uh, here you can see the C S R F protections and uh, we just saw, saw the redirection and view URLs how we can send the parameter we will just learn that and much more things like the uh, regular expressions I will make a new video on the regular expression because this is a, a little bit big topic as compared to normally so in the next video i'll show you the regular expression also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you have any kind of question uh, you can put it on the comment and please go, don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and please subscribe our channel also thanks guys thanks for watching this video